Hola chicos, hablemos de los verbos. We're going to talk about verbs. We're going to talk a lot in English about verbs and verbs in Spanish. Okay, first thing you need to know about verbs is that verbs can be in the infinitive. Infinitive is the base form, the, the way you'll find it in a dictionary. Okay, so we'll have a verb like correr, to run, or ganar, to win. Okay, this is an ER verb, this is an AR verb. We also have IR verbs like vivir, eh, también. Okay, so these are infinitive forms of ER, AR, and IR verbs. Okay, and we can conjugate these verbs with uh, the people. These are pronouns, these are subject pronouns, and each pronoun has a different conjugation for that infinitive verb. So, for example, correr, yo corro, I run. Tú corres, you run, él corre, he runs, or usted corre, you, sir, run. Nosotros, nosotros corremos, vosotros corréis, y ellos corren. Ok, um, same thing with ganar. Yo gano, tú ganas, él gana, nosotros ganamos. Y vivir, yo vivo, tú vives, él vive, etc. Ok. Uh, conjugation is huge in Spanish teaching. Spanish teachers love conjugating. Ok. So you will become experts. Tense. Ok. Tense is whether it happened in the past, the present, or the future. Ok. So... Ayer, yesterday, corrí o y gané. Okay? I ran and I won. O corría, I was running y ganaba. I was winning when presumably somebody ran past me. Okay? Uh, we also have, and there's more, more past, but we won't work on that right now. We also have the present tense, okay, which we see here, okay? Yo corro, yo gano, whatever, this is present tense, okay, so just look there. And then we have future, and to make the future is correr in the infinitive plus a little ending. Correré o ganaré. I shall run. I shall win. Okay. O, we can say voy a, like we say in English, I'm going to. Voy a correr. Voy a ganar. Voy a vivir. Okay. Muy fácil, muy fácil. El futuro es, es muy fácil. Muy bien. Okay, mood. We also have mood. We have indicative mood, which is saying how things really are. And we have subjunctive mood, which is how things, how we feel about things, or how we wish things were, or how we hope things will be, or how things might be in the future. Okay, so indicative is solid. Okay, yo corro. Yo corro, okay? It's a statement of fact. Yo corro, okay? Subjunctive would be... El quiere. He wants. Que yo corra. He wants me to run, okay? That's subjunctive. So that's mood, okay? We also have voice. We have active voice or passive voice, okay? This tells us what kind of relationship the subject is to the act, okay? So, for example, corro en el parque. I run in the park, okay? That's active because I'm doing it, okay? It can also be passive. For example, 
se corre en el parque. Running happens in the park. Okay, that's what happens in the park. Running. Okay, it's there's no specific agent. Okay, and also we have participles. For example, él está corriendo like that and or the past el ha corrido he has run okay or and it'll have these endings or if it's ganar está ganando o oh, el ha ganado he has won, okay? And we have transitive or intransitive. Okay, it, and that just basically tells us, can it take a direct object or no direct object? It tells us what kind of verb it is. So for example, correr. Can I run somebody? Not really, okay? So therefore, it cannot take a direct object, okay? Correr. Okay? But, ganar can take a direct object. Yo gano la medalla. I win the medal. La medalla. And, is transitive because it can accept an object. Okay, so this is a, a quick overview of verbs. So we have Infinitive, base form. Conjugated, when it goes with its subject. Tense, past, present, or future. Mood, indicative or subjunctive. Voice, active or passive. Participle, uh, present participle and past participle. Is or has done something. It, it always has this auxiliary verb, uh, like está corriendo o ha corrido. That's auxiliary verbs. And then we have transitive or intransitive, whether it can take a direct object or not.